Hello YouTube, I am Irina Skripnik and this is Tip Top for the channel. Today I will answer 22 questions that were sent to me by women photographers from UK and here we go! And now I will answer your question. Why did you choose photography as a career? Well, there are two reasons. First, I worked as an accountant in a company and it was boring and not highly paid. Second, my father is a well-known photographer and printing specialist in Odessa. And I decided that I can try to start my own photography business because I will have good support from him. How long have you been a photographer? For 12 years as a pro photographer. Tell us three fun facts about you. Okay, first, I love to travel, but I do afraid to fly. Second, I'm a pro post-processing specialist, but I don't know anything about how to install software, plugins, updates, and so on. It is all on my husband. Third, once I was asked to shoot wedding on eighth month of pregnancy. It was stupid and funny, big, big body with big, big lens, but I did it. What is your favorite part of your job? There are three things. Travel and meeting new people around the world. Emotions of my clients when they see their photos first time. And freedom to do anything I like. What other types of photography do you do? I do wedding, art, creative, family, events, children, fashion and business commercial photography. How did you get into wedding photography? I started my photography business as a wedding photographer. First, I did wedding for my university friends for free. Second, I showed my first free wedding to my future clients and earned first 500 euro from my second wedding. And so on and on. What is your favorite part of a wedding? Wedding cake, because it's time to go home. What is your wedding must have shot? Must have shot? Let me think. Flying dresses, people love them. Where would be your ideal wedding photo shoot location? Iceland landscapes, palaces in England, Machu Picchu in Peru, and many others. How do you manage to keep a good work-life family balance? It is a hard thing to do, girls. But I work together with my husband, so we are always on one side of our everyday battlefield. How do I become as knowledgeable and successful as you? Haha! -ha! Visit my workshops and subscribe my channels. Simply be yourself and start to shoot things that inspire you. Follow a simple rule. Every month I should make one shooting for my soul, not for my business. And people will start to follow you and recognize you. What top tip could you give other photographers? I answered it in a previous question. Do art projects for your soul. How did you get established? It was a long time to reach high popularity. Probably, main thing that helped me was my reputation, high quality of my products, high on post-processing and my art project. But there is something coming soon that will help me to reach new levels. Have you ever been cut off guard? Only when I crushed a little my car during a wedding last week, my hubby was very happy. How do you deal with the unexpected? Simply follow my way and do not worry about anything. What is your funniest moment? When we visited Innsbruck, Austria, we had a dinner in a cool restaurant with candles. And we came from a long walk there with a camera, old body D700. And we put it on a table near the candle and haven't noticed that the bell started to burn. The smell in restaurant was terrible because of my burning D700 belt. And one year have passed and I still have no time to order new one. How would you describe your style of photography? Sometimes it is a trash art style. Sometimes it's a honey bunny. Sometimes it is strong drama style. What tips do you have to organizing a style shoot? First, imagine 10 cool ideas about your style session. Write them down and send them to the trash bag. Anyone will think the same. And now, start to think harder and you will get results. 
Second, use second-hand shops to find clothes for costumes. It is cheap. Third, find crazy makeup artists and designers and try to inspire them with your idea. Fourth, add contrast to your idea. Fifth, add story and drama to your session. Are there differences between weddings in the Ukraine and the UK? Probably, I have not been in UK, so I haven't seen UK weddings. But I think prices. Standard photographers in Ukraine charge from 200 to 500 euro per weddings for full day. In UK, I think it's much more higher. What has been your biggest learning curve? Coloristics. It was one of my last steps that helped me to become famous. Using of coloristics models and methods in my photos helped me to reach new levels in my post-processing. Why did you start running workshops? Because it's interesting and inspires me. I love to meet new people, photographers, models and so on. I do love to travel and do some crazy sessions. And workshops is the best way to do all those things. Who inspired you? My family, plus music, movies, books and internet. Well, it was the last question. <sighs> Hope I answered all the questions and have not missed anything. Don't forget to subscribe Tip Top Photo channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. With big love from Odessa, bye bye!